it's two and a half thousand degrees in there. And inside that flame, there's all sorts of chemical chaos. All the time, different carbon compounds are forming, then burning away again. But if I get the conditions just right, the hardest molecules will survive, the diamonds. I really have no idea if this is going to work. But if diamonds are going to grow, they'll grow right there, where the flame meets the plate. And they're going to grow atom by atom. So it could take quite a long time. As far as I know, no one in Britain has ever managed to do this. And I need to run it for hours before I even know if it's working. You can actually see sparkly stuff heaping up, albeit only slightly, in the middle of that metal plate. So far, this has taken eight hours, seven hours, and it's a long, long stint just to get that. But the longer you leave it, it's, it's like gambling. Do I let it go further with the chances of bigger diamonds? Or do I quit now before I lose everything? I don't want to quit now. I want to keep it going. If I've got this right, those tiny crystals are going to grow as layer after layer of carbon atoms are laid down, forming lovely, sparkling diamonds. But only if I've got this exactly right. These diamonds, if in fact they are diamonds, may be tiny, but they are the start of something very big. Because it's only by growing diamonds in this steady, controlled way that we stand the chance of being able to take advantage of all their other amazing properties beyond just being very hard and very shiny. So now I'm going to try and get these things out of here without destroying them. Still shines just with a, a blackened sheen. Now what I need to do is take these little fellas somewhere where somebody can tell me for certain whether we've made diamonds or not. I so hope we have. Dr. Mark Newton at Warwick University should know. He's at the cutting edge of diamond research and starts by showing me a large, bona fide gemstone. There is a diamond. Looks like a diamond. It's cut yeah, and yeah, yeah. like a diamond. So if you pop that in your machine, we'll yep. be able to see exactly what it is we're hoping to see off my diamonds. Exactly. There's one very easy test, a technique called Raman scattering, by shining a, um, a laser light on the sample yep. and looking at the light that's scattered back from the sample. So diamond is really simple. There's one characteristic Raman frequency at 1332. Really nice diagnostic that the material you're looking at is diamond. And if it comes out with the correct kind of Raman frequency, it is unequivocally diamond. Unequivocally diamond. All right, let's see what the real thing looks like. Okay, just pop it underneath the microscope. So you can see the diamond, yeah. you can see the nice sharp edges underneath. Uh, switch the laser on, set to run. Wow. There we go. A really sharp peak. In fact, so sharp that uh, it's just clipped off the top. Bang on. That's diamond. So that's what I'm hoping for with this. Shall we have a look? The, yes. They're definitely sparkly. <laughs> I think we might be in danger of getting carried away here. Right. It doesn't, I'm not massively heartened. <laughs> OK, we can see we're sitting on top of a crystal. Laser on. Is this it now? La this is it. This is the moment of truth. There is diamond.